2022 Nissan Terra, first drive impressions. Finally, a Terra with a great interior. Nissan hit the ball out of the park with the new Terra. There is no shortage of improvements over the previous generation, and we can finally say that the Terra is everything that you can expect from the midsize SUV segment for the price that it commands, at least at first drive. We'll go a little further and explain just how good the new Terra was in our short drive with it. These are our first impressions of the 2022 Nissan Terra and its VL4X4 trim in the Philippines. Exterior. While we were fans of the Terra's exterior design even prior to this update, the new model is still just as appealing as the one it replaces. The exterior looks like some of the models that you can find in the American Nissan lineup. The Terra's front end is probably the most striking change of them all, with a slightly more rounded headlight assembly in contrast to the rather edgy look that we got in the outgoing iteration. Meanwhile, the rear looks more refined over its predecessor, opting for sleekness rather than outright muscle. The SUV shapes up nicely the minute you walk up to it. It's not totally like the old Terra, but it is distinctly Nissan. Perhaps one of our gripes with it would be the rear garnish that doesn't cut through the Terra badging at the back, but rather, it goes up and over, which kinda looks tacky in our opinion, but we're nitpicking. Other than that, it gets functional points like an all-LED lighting system with fog lamps included. The output of these units is plenty bright at night, and its DRLs are amply visible under intense sunlight. Interior Remember when the Terra first launched a couple of years ago? We said that it had one of the worst interiors in its segment. Following the reception of the SUV, Nissan kept an ear to the ground and signed sealed, and delivered to us a now amazing interior that is worthy of this segment. In the midsize SUV space, a luxurious and well-built interior is part of the price tag, and Nissan was behind the curve until this generation of Terra was launched. Not only are we getting a different dashboard compared to the Nissan Navara, but we're also getting an upshot in quality materials with leather being used profusely on almost all the surfaces of the cabin. There are even geometric patterns in the seats and colored leather. The unit loaned out to us prior to the launch had a red interior, and it worked paired with the rather muted exterior silver paint job. The contrast between the red leather and the black trim pieces makes it stand out from the rest of its rivals. However, if it's a little too flashy for you, Nissan also offers a more sedate palette of interior colors. The biggest gripe about the Terra has been addressed. Prepare your checkbooks and credit cards. Go over to our site and inquire immediately using our Get Quote feature. Trust us, it's worth the price tag now. Technology and safety. Everything that we liked about the previous generation makes its way over to the new, but with added refinements. The infotainment screen is more vibrant and still features Nissan's 360 degree around view monitor, AVM. On top of that, the variant we have is the VL, so it gets the whole suite of safety features such as forward collision mitigation, as well as a full set of airbags to name a few. Oh, and speaking of the infotainment system, it features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto along with an amazing set of Bose speakers, which is a marked upgrade over the no-name system found prior. If you've forgotten your cable, it's fine because all you have to do is set your phone on the wireless charging pad 
provided your phone supports Kai Wireless. We're no longer hung up about recommending the Terra. It's a fantastic package tech-wise, and paired with its wonderful interior, you will find it hard to complain about something. Driving and handling. Since it is mostly based on the old platform, it drives the same. From the engine to the chassis and suspension, the model is just as comfortable as the old Terra. Closer to the right of a crossover, the SUV does make a good daily driver over the less than stellar roads of Metro Manila. Going over potholes is no issue, while humps induced a bit of sway, if approached at an oblique angle, it was plenty comfortable. The engine was also nice and responsive, and while we don't have fuel economy figures just yet, we can say that the model is just as good as ever with 187 horsepower and 450 Nm of torque from its 2.5 liters of turbo diesel displacement. Steering is also light enough, and the technology package in the car with the AVM makes sure that it drives smaller than it actually does. Parking is no issue provided you get the AVM feature with the car, but lower trims get a reverse camera anyway, so it'll do as well. Verdict and Price As far as first impressions go, the Terra impresses at first glance, at first ingress, and at first drive. The prior generation impressed us with its drive and its exterior design, but left something to be desired in the interior department. Now that the interior is addressed, it appears that this is the SUV to get for the 2022 model year from Nissan Philippines. How it stacks up against the rest of the competition remains to be seen, as the Toyota Fortuner in its LTD trim is really putting up a fight specs-wise, and the Mitsubishi Montero Sport is still a considerable choice that could make people jump over to the Tri-Diamond team. As far as Japanese midsize SUVs go, the Terra might have to set up its defenses for yet another heavy hitter in the segment from yet another trusted brand in the country. For the price that it commands, topping out at P2,354,000, it seems worth it for the most part. Its interior looks the price, and if you're not feeling the 4x4 system, you can always go with a lower trim level to optimize your purchase decision. With that, we'd like to congratulate Nissan for not only launching such a great car, but making a well-rounded package that is sure to take the midsize SUV debate to the next level.